Vectors are extremely important in physics, and they can be intimidating, but they're actually quite easy. Let me take you through an example. Let's take a vector of length 10, and I'll leave off units. This could be 10 meters, this could be a velocity vector, 10 meters per second, this could be a force vector, 10 newtons. They, breaking a vector into its components is the same regardless of the vector you're working with. And let's say that it's at a 30 degree angle. And we want to find both the x and the y components. We'll label the horizontal x and the vertical y. Vectors generally have an arrow showing the direction. And the, the x component can be found by using a little right triangle trigonometry. We know that cosine of the angle, which in this case is 30 degrees, equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now, we just plug in cosine of 30 degrees into our calculator, and we get about 0.87. And then we just simply multiply both sides by 10. So 10 times 0.87, and then what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Tens cancel, and now we have that 10 times 0.87 equals x, and therefore x equals, equals 8.7. Now what about the y component? How do we find the y component? Well, we know that sine of the angle equals the, uh, the opposite over the hypotenuse. And again, solving the equation, let's multiply both sides by 10. As my old middle school teacher used to tell me, if you slap one cheek, you have to slap the other cheek. And so now we have 10 times sine of 30 degrees, and I know that sine of 30 degrees is equal to 0.5, and you can plug that into your calculator to verify, or hopefully you've memorized the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So now we have 10 multiplied by 0.5, and that equals y, therefore y equals 5. So now we have found the two sides of this triangle. The y component is 5. The x component is 8.7. We have broken this vector into its x component and y component.